there ladies and gentlemen and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker and today we are going back to Herefordshire to try another cider from the Dunkertons Company. I've already tried, well I've tried a fair few of their range now and they've all just been absolutely fantastic and I just, I just can't fault them uh, one way or the other. Today we have got a single variety cider. It is their Breakwell's Seedling Single Variety Cider. They got a very traditional looking label there. That's usually um, a good sign that it's going to be a really, really nice drink. Um, comes in at 7.5% ABV, so um, yeah, a pretty heavy hitter here. Uh, yeah, Dunkerton's Cider Mill, Pembridge, Herefordshire. Um, and as usual, all of Dunkerton's ciders are completely organic as well, so that's always a, a good thing to see too. Um, so yeah, I, I must say I've never heard of the Breakwell Seedling Cider Apple before at all, so I don't know what this is going to taste like, whether it's going to be sharp or bitter, but well, I mean, we'll find out when I get round to the tasting, won't we? Let's see what it says on the back. This fresh, fruity, sparkling, medium-dry organic cider is made from one variety of cider apple first discovered a century ago at Perth... I hope I pronounced this right... Perthia Farm, Monmouth. Because of its delicious flavour, farmer George Breakwell propagated the seedling and it was later planted in many Herefordshire orchards, including our own. In early September, when the Breakwell seedling apples are ripening, the air is full of their wonderful, intense perfume. That sounds really, really nice. So, uh, well, they've had, they've had a really, really good track record, Dunkerton, so far, so I'm really looking forward to cracking this open and just finding out what lies inside the bottle. Let's go in for the whiff test. Hmm, very, very aromatic. Quite a, a floral, as it is said on the back, quite a, a light perfumey aroma. With, um, yeah, a little hint of, little hint of licorice on the nose too. Smells fairly dry. Getting a touch of, um, getting a touch of menthol in there too. Or a, a slight hint of mint. Mmm. Lovely, lovely notes coming off the nose. So, uh, well, let's get this poured in. And, well, just see if I find any more smells. Because, as has been shown before, on many more of my reviews, different smells do come off the glass sometimes. There we go. Right. Get that all cracked in. There we go. Right, let's go in for the colour test, shall we? Let's zoom in. As you can see, it's um fairly... Cloudy, as you can see, it's not a uh, completely um, opaque. I can still see you fairly, but there's a slight um, cloudiness behind it, slight golden colour behind it, and very light carbonation there. Lovely, lightly sparkling look to it. That looks really, really nice in the glass. So, any more smells? Hmm, smelling um, still smelling quite, uh, quite perfumey. Very aromatic. Slight bitterness on the nose now. Um, hints of treacle. Still got those um, hints of licorice and uh, hints of mint as well. Mmm. Smells absolutely gorgeous. So, well, I can't wait to dive into this one. So, cheers, guys. Here's to Dunkerton's Breakwell Seedling Single Variety Cider. Cheers. Mmm, that is a dry cider. All but a nice aftertaste. Mmm, oh, it's got a biscuity aftertaste. I love that aftertaste. Let's get a second opinion. Mmm. Very tangy on the initial taste. Um, very dry throughout. Uh, I, I would actually say it's more of a, a dry cider than a medium dry. Although it does have a slight softness behind the dryness. It's not um, not too sharp, not too astringent. Very full body texture behind this one. And I'm the, my af the aftertaste is cookie dough. Like I've just I've just bitten into a, a really lovely chocolate chip cookie. Um, and that, that dough, a really biscuity doughy effect um, taste that you get. 
it's, oh, it's just coating the back of my throat. It's not going away. I love this sort of aftertaste. I don't know why. I, I think it's just like personal preference, but I really do love these sorts of aftertastes. Um, not not usual for like this this um, type of cider, but I really do like it when I um, when I get it. Let's get another taste. You're getting um, slight hints of melon on the taste as well. Uh, a little touch of orange. Um, it's, it's, it, it actually tastes quite juicy despite it being um, quite dry on the taste too. So uh, this is ama like, amazing coming from one variety of apple, how you can just get so many complex and lovely flavours behind it. It's just really, really nice. Um, once again, Dunkertons have done an outstanding job here. Um, it, it is a rare cider apple to see. I don't know of any other cider company that uses Breakwell seedling apples in their drinks, especially using just them. But maybe more cider companies need to start using it because this apple produces a lot of different and very complex flavours behind it, which makes for a really, really fantastic cider. So. Let's go in for a final taste before the final verdict. Mm. Mm. Every time, every time I taste this cider, I am getting something a little bit different on the taste. Um, which, as I've said, to just come from one sort of apple is absolutely amazing. Um, and that's also the sign of really good craftsmanship. Uh, from Dunkerton's to produce such a high quality drink as well. Um, I can't sing this cider's praises highly enough. If you have not tried this drink, I would highly suggest you go out and buy a bottle of this straight away because it is absolutely fantastic. So, for a final verdict, I don't think this is uh, going to come as any surprise at all, but Dunkerton's Breakwell Seedling Single Variety Cider is easily getting a 9.5 out of 10 from me and the Cider Drinker's Seal of Approval. Uh, I would even go so far as to say that this is probably my favourite cider that I've tried off Dunkerton's so far. And that's saying a lot because the other ones that I've tried have been absolutely astounding. But this one is just, for me, on another level. Especially, I mean, it tastes like there's so many different apples in this cider. But there isn't. There's just one. And you can get so many complex flavours from it. It's just amazing. So yeah, do yourself a favour and um, just get a bottle by any means it's you won't be disappointed i really really cannot recommend this cider enough so there we go another episode of the cider drink for you guys i hope you liked it as usual and as usual i will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon ah oh, until then i'm gonna definitely finish off this breakwell seedling cider off because it's absolutely fantastic and do you know what it doesn't really taste of 7.5 percent so I need to take my time with this because it probably won't last long. Take care, guys. Until next time.